Hello everybody, this is Nemo Dane. Uh, we're back at it again. Uh, last time we just left off, we were in uh, Visual Studio. We had just edited this uh, in implement primary game module. Uh, reduces for now. Next step, uh, we're going to go down in the config folder. So there's a config folder. And then it says we're going to check all these files for old name and we're going to replace them with the new name. Alright. Uh, so basically we just need to open all these in the uh, editor. Let's target the first one with the left click and, and holding down the shift key. Target the last one, left click, get them all. Right click, edit with notepad, it's going to open them all up for us real quick. Uh, we still have our search in place. It's going to remember what we're looking for, for clean third person. Find, ne find next, uh, we don't have nothing in there, so we know that one's clean. Uh, let's go to the next one. Find next. Up oh, there we go. Replace, replace, replace. No, nothing there. Let's go to the next one. Nothing. Let's go to the next one. Nothing. Uh, we can hit the save all button here. We saved them all. Uh, the reason I left them open is we got something we need to edit here. It says in the default engine any. All right. So let's go to the default engine any. Make sure I'm in the right one under uh, existing or any new we're going to post it under here it wants us to paste this right here let me do a copy hit an enter and a control V alright we need the old name we're going to have to add that right here which was clean third person and why I hit a space I don't know and then our new name which is soul and that should be it for that. Let's go ahead and save that out. All right, we can close these out. And we can close that. Let's reduce this down. All right, that finishes that part of it. Now, if it says if you have any old name APIs in your header files, uh, we're gonna have to rename those in our uh, header files. All right, let's go to our header files. So let's go back out into our, our main folder. Let's go down to the source file. Source, excuse me, source folder, and here you can see we got our our header files for our C plus plus. They're all located here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick them up uh, one by one. So let's go with uh, that's your header file. Holding down the control, let's grab that one and that one and that one. Just kind of grab them out each one individually. Right click, send them right to the notepad. There they are. Go to our search, get our replace. We hit find next. All right, if you notice here, this is a, all capital letters. So let's go ahead and I think, uh, nope. Let's go ahead and make this all capital letters. Oops. Uh, let's learn to type. All right, we're going to change that with that. We're going to hit replace. All right, that one's good. Save and close. Next one and next. Replace. Good. This becomes repetitive, but it's easy and quick. Find next one, replace. Just work our way on through. Save down the line. Makes it a lot easier than having to do it by hand. <laughs> and save that. All right, almost done here. Oh, there's nothing in that one, so we just close that one out. And next, replace. place and last one all right oh let's save it now we can close that out reduce this back down all right that names out the APIs um, here it says to delete the saved in intermediate folders that's in our project directory so let's go to the project directory it wants us to delete this one and this one I did this earlier when I was testing this, and when I delete it, I get an error. It, it's looking for something in this folder. Uh, this is posted back in 2014 or so. Uh, I find out if you just leave them in, which it won't hurt nothing because it's in our original kit anyway, uh, it'll get through the build. So I'm going to leave them in, even though it says to delete them. All right, now it says we got a compiler project. Now, uh, what I did here was a s since I updated that and uh, we did something different, uh, let's go ahead and clear the box. I'm going to do the project, and I want to make sure that uh, um, 
add any hold on a minute well uh, it, I don't know if we got to pick up the dependencies that change on that or not but we'll see so what we're gonna do is here right as I'm gonna build the uh, the game itself first so this or the kit I'm gonna build that real quick see if we get any errors always uh, watch down here this is gonna take just a little bit um, while that's running through we have got okay that's just uh, that's just remapping old stuff in. okay that's just class uh, that's a naming issue I just want to update the declaration uh, alright this is gonna take just a little bit so what we're gonna do is pause it here and when that finishes uh, we'll pick up from there. All right, be right back. And there we are. We're back. We got uh, build one succeeded, uh, zero failed. We got some declaration I uh, issues that are just warnings. Um, that could be a version, engine version difference. Um, not really sure what that. Uh, all right, we go with the solution. I'm going to go ahead and uh, build it just to make sure everything work looks good. All right, we got two succeeded. All right, all the all the builds are good there. Let's go ahead and reduce this. And uh, let's launch the project. Hopefully this should work. There we go. Soul Binders Online coming up in the editor. Uh, we've got our name. Uh, loads uh, loads a little bit quicker. Um, let's go ahead and reduce that window. Like I said, uh, I'll post the links uh, down below in this video where you can uh, follow along in the answer hub on the step-by-step -step process of renaming it and uh, the documentation had the link to it there too also if you want to read through the documentation but I think it's a good thing let's get the base kit where we want it before we start even doing any editing and uh, uh oh did not come out well this time all right all right guys we're back um, what had happened uh, is I had uh, let me open here. I had actually misspelled Soul Binders Online right, right there. So yep, caused caused a big issue right there. Make sure when you're putting your name in whatever you're using to uh, spell it correctly everywhere you put it. That's why I like to do uh, copy, cut and paste. Maybe you use like Notepad, uh, write down your whatever name you're going to use and just copy it from there to uh, try to keep it consistent. So one little error like that. One little S caused me all that trouble. Anyway, I had to clean the solution again. Uh, basically, just came back here, cleaned the solution, did a rebuild. We got to succeed. Everything is good. So let's give it a test. We're going to launch the uh, my new Soul Bounders online. We're going to launch it from here. There you go. You see my name. My name's in the editor. up loading loading yep just get like I said got to watch uh, make sure one of the little typos you know how that goes with the little typos make sure everything works ah there we go all right it's loading while it's streaming the textures uh, uh, some reason always loads this by default just come over here I like to show this show the show the side panel let's move that over a little bit view options let's bring those down just a little bit oops too much like the smaller icons and there we go all right uh, let me take a look at the kit over here we're just about to run out of time uh, what we want to do is go down in the MMO so we want to go down there then it says uh, blueprints so we go down in blueprints game modes and then you're going to go open up MMO instance uh, right here at the bottom, you're going to put your host name. Of course, I already have a website with a database set up. Uh, there's the host name. I'll put that in there. Then you'll compile and save that. Once you're done with that, you'll close that out. And then it says we're going to go. Um, uh, then from there, we're going to go to the uh, start map. So you're going to look for maps. Uh, start map. There's a start map. Wait for that to load. It's going to load up pretty quick. 
All right, when you're in here, we're going to go ahead and hit play. Need to register. Well, that's that's nice in the background. So we're going to hit register. We're going to call him uh, Timmy. Timmy at gmail.com. Password is password. Password is password. Register. There we go. You should see registered successfully. Now Timmy's going to log in. Log in. Log in successful. We've got to create a new character. Uh, we'll call him Timmy. He's a warrior. And create. I notice right here that if you exit out, you can get issues. Um, I'll have to look into that code later. But once you have your character created, let's just hit back and exit. And that's going to close it out. Uh, let's reduce it here and then uh, alright now we're back uh, I had to pop out for a second uh, there we go we're taking a look at my database that uh, is at one.com as you can see there's Timmy we just register him Timmy at gmail.com um, what you want to do is you want to go to the characters click over here to characters I think I've already done this yep we got Bobby who's registered to zero so we're gonna have to edit Bobby and we're going to make Bobby a 3 for his ID number. 3 will work. And then uh, let's go and save that. Now we're going to make Timmy. We're going to edit Timmy. Timmy needs to be 0. For some reason it put Bubba back to 0. Alright, we're going to make him a 0. Go and save that. The editor needs to have your uh, ID at 0. Alright, Timmy's at 0, so that's good. So we know the database is working. Alright, let's reduce that back up now we want to go to the death rally race we're gonna load that right up we're gonna see if this works all right uh, drop down bar run as dedicated server go ahead and click that we'll just run it in this window and let's hit play should hit the loading screen there's the loading screen and since we've already logged in, it's automatically logged us in. And there we are, running around in the MMO kit. Great kit. Uh, it's got a lot of good base features. Uh, can't wait to get to developing. Uh -huh. Set him on fire. Boy, that was loud. All right. Uh, that's going to wrap it up here. Let's escape out. Um, hopefully that will help anybody that needs to, we, we know bef needs to know what's going on with renaming it. Um, we went over uh, 10 minutes here and you can clean this up uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean mine up and see what all uh, we can pull out of it and I may post that in another video alright guys uh, thanks a lot we'll talk with you later